Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. I got another package, another tool to review. So let's go see what is inside. I completely forgot what is in this one. Got my utility knife here. So let's see what will be another device we can play with and here we go this is packed really seriously wow look at this and this time it looks like some kind of serious business this is from Autel Autoling and it's an OBD2 an electrical test tool and that will have a lot of features so I will have to go and study that manual which is supposed to be inside that I can show it to you to its full potential. Here you can see how that carrying box looks like, right? As I said, this is serious stuff. Here you can see what is inside, right? This is very cool. It really comes with the hard copy of user manual even with the CD or DVD, right? Here obviously is the diagnostic cable which is for scanning the cars and here are the probes for the electric working, right? Measuring probably voltmeter and so on. Here is the USB mini USB and even you can use it apparently as a battery tester. That's very very exciting little package. I really like that. Check out the manual. I unbox everything here on the table and it's really multi-tool. Here obviously that you can connect to the vehicle, right? And it will read codes, erase codes, it will tell you the emission readiness, live data, right, you will get out of it. This is absolutely incredible. So basically that cable is uh, allowing the function of the scanner, right? When we see on the left side, basically if you hook this to the top again, right, you can see these are like a battery connectors. Well, it will test your battery inside or outside of the vehicle. It will test your alternator if it works correctly and it will also test your starter if it works correctly. This is incredible. And the last but not least are these probes, right? And they obviously look like the probes for the voltmeter. And that will uh, help you to diagnose the vehicle electrical system including DC or AC voltage, continuity test and the current test. Let's go and start with this cable. I will connect it here on the top. So that means we will be scanning right the computer which is in the car. Right here. The forerunner which was here yesterday it's gone. So let's use this mini for this experiment or so I hook it to the OBD port in the car right it's right here and here is the display where you can see that OBD 2 right it's highlighted in red so I will push OK and let's see what will happen the car's ignition is on and it gives me all these options so let's for example, select the first one, read the codes. And I went back and there's actually 11 different things. Right? Erase codes, live data, you freeze frames, I am readiness, right, for emissions, auto monitor test, there's separate function for that. On port monitor test, component test vehicle info, modules which are present in this car and unit of measure. So this is fantastic, I love it. And if I push the escape it offers this, right? If I want to get out, 
I push yes and I'm back in that main menu which has all these things available. I change to the ready test. Let's see what is there. And it took approximately 30 seconds and this is the results I got from it. This is wonderful. And I'm back in the main menu. So now we can see that it has a comparable possibilities like these scanners right for the cars in this price range which is around a hundred dollars but now it's interesting it actually should be able to do battery testing so let's go and look at that and I've got this spare battery sitting here around the shop so let's see what this meter or multifunctional tool can do with it right so it's nicely hooked to the terminals and let's see what it will do so battery test I will go down to that right push OK so it says the battery has 12.28 or 12.3 volts not sure if you can see it, it's kind of hard to film this display, but it's perfectly visible by eyes. Press OK, continue. It says the regular battery. The CCAs, I will have to write, say, and this one is actually 730, so I will go up. 740 is the closest, let's press A, and it's testing it already. It's amazing. The result came really quickly. Replace the battery. The measured CCA instead of 730, it's 481 uh, and it's rated 740. So the result is clear. This battery should be replaced. Let's go and use this Subaru for the starter testing. So I have it in start test. I push OK. It says the battery is 12.61 volts. Turn off all vehicle loads. Make sure the ignition is on. Press OK to continue. Now the ignition is on. Let's see what it needs to be done. Start the engine. So it says right here, cranking normal, crank voltage 8.01 volts, volt present 66%, crank time 66 milliseconds. Nice. And I on the left is that key, if I go down, it actually will change to the charging test. And the instructions are again, turn off all vehicle loads. And the number two, it's rev the engine at 2000 RPM for 15 seconds. So I will go and do that. It was hard to get that 2000. Now press OK, let's hold the RPM, oh jeez, oh yeah, OK, so the charge test is normal, loads volt, it's 14.2 volts, loads of volt 14.16, perfect. And we still didn't try to use it as a multimeter, so let's go and see for example, right? if we can see the voltage of this battery using these probes. So I will go to the multimeter which is here, I will push OK. Wow, it says beautifully 0, 0 0.00 volts, right? You probably cannot see it because the shine and the lighting here today. But now it's visible. I will touch the minus and the plus. And look at it. It beautifully says exactly like before. 
before it was saying 12.28 now it says 12.27 volts and what is nice about this, this is automatic range which normally is only on better voltmeters on the cheaper ones you have to select the range right with that switch but this one does it automatic this is wonderful that was the top position you can scroll down right to the DC voltage direct current voltage you can go to the AC voltage which is alternative current voltage right you can test for continuity which is the next one now it's open circuit right if I touch these probes see that there is zero impedance it even gives the signal right beep this is absolutely incredible to be honest I love it the next option will test the diodes and the very next one you can measure current but the max is 20 amps so I don't have anything here to show you with that if I will hook it to this battery I will blow the fuse which is inside if you have a very small current which is less than 200 milliamps you can switch it in this fine uh, setting now I have to admit to something I had no idea that in these days you can buy such a multifunctional tool for so little money. I checked the price on Amazon where Autel I believe selling this and it's 100 bucks. This is unbelievable for battery starter and alternator tester, right? for scanner for the computer doing readiness uh, testing o2 sensors and so on and really nice quality multimeter for 100 bucks that's amazing i'm absolutely impressed and i love it the body seems to be rugged right it has that protective sleeve on it the display is pretty big, really easy to read with the eyes. I'm sorry I had problems with this camera to show it to you nice and clear. I don't know why, maybe the lighting here is not good, I'm not sure, sorry for that. But it's really sharp, you know, the, the display and the results are really sharp and easy to read. So I will say conclusion, this is absolute no-brainer for a hundred bucks, right? My multimeter itself goes 100 bucks my battery tester goes 100 bucks right these things are expensive another reader my reader goes 400 dollars it's a little bit better than this but this is incredible this is incredible multi-tool for somebody who doesn't do it professionally right and wants to just be able to see what's happening with his car for example i'm very happy i was able to test it and discover something like this this is amazing i'm very happy i was able to show it to you this is great and please make sure you are subscribed you are tuned because i will have way more videos on this channel coming your way soon thank you for watching today and have a wonderful day my friend I'm very happy I was able to test it and discover something like this this is amazing I'm very happy I was able to show it to you this is great and please make sure you are subscribed you are tuned because I will have way more videos on this channel coming your way soon thank you for watching today and have a wonderful day my friend